Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be solving a question on section of solid. In this case, we are talking of section of full stump of a cylinder. That the cutting plane is not cutting the two parallel sides. It's cutting part of the vertical line and part of the horizontal line. So the cutting plane is at 60, uh, 30 from the base and it's inclined at 60 degree. The total height is 70 and diameter is 60. So I'm going to pick a point. Let me pick this point now to draw my circle. I pick that point to draw my circle. And the circle is of diameter 30, diameter 60, and that will be radius 30. So I'll measure 30 on my compass. From 5 to 2 will give me 30. Yes, this is 30. So I'll draw a circle. A circle of radius 30. That's my circle of radius 30. So I will now I need to divide it into 12 equal parts. I need to divide the 12 equal parts. To do that, I'll first divide it into four. I'll first divide it into four. Then use the four corners to do the to do further division. So with the same radius of the circle, I'll mark arc top and bottom, left and right. This one will be top and bottom. I'll go to the next corner. I'll do it right and left. I'll do it. Okay, let me check this one again. Uh -huh. There's an error there. to be very careful when you are doing this thing let me check if this diameter has not sh has shifted yes correct now so i'll mark it here and here yeah, better come to this place bottom and top come to this one right and left and left so now I can now draw the lines passing through the center, passing through the center, passing through the center, yes. So I've divided it into 12 equal parts. So let me now take them vertically upward so I can use it to get the, the side of the cylinder. Take it vertically upward. Take the middle two vertically upward. And the other aha. I can pick this point a little bit away from the circle as the base of my cylinder and measure my height which is, which is 70 from 80 to 10 will be 70 this is the height so I'll draw this one here that's for the bottom then this one for the top and I send it because I'm still going to draw the side elevation and elevation at that side. So now the cutting plane is at a point which is 30 from the base. The cutting plane is 30 from the base and by the side. So I'll measure 30 from the side. 30, 1, 2, 3. That's my 30 and I'm going to measure 60 degrees. So I'm going to use my 60 degrees. This side is 60, this one is 30. This one was the one we have been using since for the one we have been doing. But now we're using 60, which is here. Place it like this. Put it like that and draw. That's the cutting plane. 
Now let us label our plan. All the points on the plan. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now let's take all of them vertically upward. One after the other. Let me use the bigger set square. Put it like this. This is for two and one. Just extend it to the cutting plane. You don't need to extend it all the way to the top because there's nothing happening around that side. Take it this way. Now for five, nine, eight, six, you can see that the cutting plane is not cutting them at all. So there's no point taking them because it's a waste of time. We are not going to use them. We're only because the cutting plane is only intersecting this area. So we don't need to take it to this other side. So you don't need to draw those sides so that we don't waste unnecessary time on that. So that is that. Now the next thing I want to do is to draw my 45 degree. 45 degree by the side. Put it on the T square and you draw this line. Now you can now transfer from the point from the top first. Take the top to the 45 degree, take the middle to the 45 degree and the bottom. I need to extend it a little bit more. So from here now, I can take them vertically upward so that I'll get the perimeter, the boundary of my and the center. Of the cylinder on the end elevation as the end elevation so now we now begin to connect them one after the other so let, let me label this is one here so this point will be one this one is two and twelve so here will be two and twelve and here is three and eleven so here will be three and eleven now you notice that there's also an edge here, but we did not, we don't have it on the circle. So you have to create it. So by create, to create it, you draw a vertical line from that point downward. That will give us additional points to, to work with. So let us lead, call this one three prime, this place, three prime, and call this one 11 prime. Three prime and 11 prime. Yeah, so we do it like that. So let us continue. So let me take my three and eleven to the horizontal, three and eleven here. Then my three is here. Three, take it to the forty-five degree line. Then move it upward. Move it upward like this. This is three here, and eleven. Also on that point, this is eleven. Take it to the forty-five degree line. Then move it vertically upward vertically upward so it will meet it at this point then the next one is uh, 2 and 12 2 and 12 take it here my 2 is here take it to the 45 degree then move it upward move it upward move it upward then the next one look let us locate that one two 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 is here you can see this is two here so the next one is my 12 and okay let me oh my 12 my 12 is here take it to the 45 degree then move it upward move it upward like this and my 12 is here. If you trace it, you can see that 12 is here. 
Now the next one is one. Number one. Take it here. Then look for one here. One is in the middle. It goes like this and it is here. Now what we have next is I think we are done with all our the other thing that you can do is maybe you want to do three three prime and eleven prime. And if you do three prime and eleven prime, they will still come to the top because this place will be three prime and eleven prime. So it will still be at the top. So there's no point doing that. So just leave it, you just it will just come like this all the way to the top. So let us now connect with French curve. We connect with French curve. This is how it will go. Like this. And this other one too will go. Let's see it. No. It's this side. So, so go like that, then taking this one, take it down, taking this one too, down, taking the base, and taking the top. So that's how it will appear. That's how it will appear. So and you see and you section the inside. You section it. Let me section it with 45 degrees. Like I told you, you can either section with uh, 60 degrees or 45 degrees. So let me section it. Section it with 45 degrees set square. section with 45 degrees set square so we are done with that and you need to section this one too now take note that the cutting plane is only between here cutting getting not cutting anywhere around there so that means you have to draw a line around here from the 3 prime to 11 prime like that you have to draw the line and we are, we are going to section only this side. We are going to section only this side. We're going to section only that side. We are section only that area. careful when you are sectioning and make sure the section lines are as evenly spaced as possible like that and let us tick in the perimeter of our circle too it has to be thick To draw the true shape to draw the true shape remember we're going to draw perpendicular line to the surface let me even take in out the perimeter of this one too take this one here like this take this one here like this then this one goes 
like this and this one goes this way and the bottle this way so that is it so let us now drop a particular line to this and just the camera a little bit more okay put this one under it like this it underneath shift it a little bit away so i can see the points very well you can see all the points very well we have this we have this corner we have this corner and the last one like this so i want to drop a parallel line to it i just shift it back move beside this one and move it upward so i think it's okay like this because of space draw the baseline so after drawing the baseline this one will represent the bottom so let me bring out take note that we are going to use this point this one this one this 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 and that so take note that we ended it at 3 prime and 11 prime because the cutting plane stop this is uh 3 prime and 11 prime not this place it is here let me put it properly 3 prime and 11 prime is at this place 3 prime 11 prime at this point that's 3 prime and 11 prime so let's draw a vertical line across the line the projection that we have made like this i hope that space will be enough to take this drawing let me mark it on this other side so let me label them first this place will be 11 prime 11 prime this one will be 11 you can see this is 11 here and next one this is 12 this one is 1 and 7 1 and 7 here is 2 and 6 2 and 6 here is 11 and 9 although we will not eventually do anything with the 9 and, all, and anything around this side we're not going to use it because the cutting plane did not get to that place it stopped at 3 prime so this one is 3 is 3 and 5 but we are only going to use 3 and the last one is 3 prime 3 prime you can see 3 prime here so let us begin to transfer them now i start from 11 prime and extend it all the way to 3 prime all the way to 3 prime like that i'll stay here and mark this point hmm. okay let me use this the surface directly because the space is appearing as if it will not be enough it's appearing as if the space will not be enough so let me use this surface directly and this will be my 3 prime then i'll extend it from 11 prime to the next one which is 3 and 5 which is here i'll extend it to 3 and 5 again i'll put it on 11 prime and extend it to 2 and 6 here i'll put it here to 2 and 6 then I put it on level prime again and move it to 1 and 7. 1 and 7 is here. So I put it here and mark for 1 and 7. Go back to my level prime and I send it to 2. It's appearing small. I can still manage with this one. That is for 12. Stay here and mark it for 12. And the last one is the remaining. 11 and and 9 so i'll just go back to my 3 prime and extend it to that place extend it to this place like this so i'll now go back to my 3 prime at the top and mark it here like that so those are the points now let us transfer them to transfer them i'll move it to i'll move my set square to the line that i want to transfer and put my other set square under it and begin to move let me move it a little bit upward 
make sure it is parallel to the line so i'll shift it like this and draw the line like this move it to the next one draw the line move it to the next draw the line move it to the next draw the line move it to the next draw the line and the last one like that so that's very close so it can it, this should tell you that we can actually start our two shape from the surface of the cutting plane if we don't have enough space now let us label them starting from 11 prime 11 prime 11 and 9 11 comma 9 12 12 comma 8 this is 1 and 7 2 and 6 2 and 6 3 and 5 3 and 5 and last one 3 prime so those are the points let us now locate them so 1 and 1 is here we are meeting here you can see this is 1 here the next one is 2 and 12 so we are, of course we can only see 12 2 no sorry you can only see 12 you can only see 12 here two let me see two and twelve okay two and twelve this is twelve here where is twelve now oh this is twelve here and two is here okay two is here then the next one is three and eleven three where is three three is here and eleven eleven is here so eleven will be at this point the next one is 3 prime and 11 prime. Three pri 11 prime is here at this point, and 3 prime is at this other point. So that is. So we join it. We join with French curve. We join with French curve. Let's see. We join with French curve. Like this. Okay. No, no, no. Let me erase it. That is not, that will not give you a smooth curve. Yes. Like this. Aha. And you rotate it and draw this other side. Rotate it and draw this other side. that place like that and join the top with a straight line join the top with a straight line like this so that's how it will look like then don't forget we're going to section remember we section these two with 45 degrees so you have to section this one too with 45 degrees let's section it with 45 degrees as well Section with 45 degrees. This, this, and make sure they are evenly spaced as much as possible. Make sure they are evenly spaced as much as possible, and don't allow the lines to go out of the boundary of the section area so that is the solution to section of the first term of a cylinder so thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this video do like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so thank you very much for watching We'll meet in the next video.